Let's take a look at the chart action for Cardano. All right, so I had been looking at this uh, pattern right here on the weekly time frame. We basically had a tri triangle pattern, something like that. We had resistance right there and support right here, support right there and support right there. And so I was targeting from the top to the bottom of this triangle, something like this, dragging that to the breakout. And I was looking at a target of approximately 2.62, somewhere around there. And it looks like or 63, I think is what I said in my last video. And it looks like we are pretty much right there. Let's go into like the daily time frame. What I'm looking at now is we have a uptrend going something like this. I'm not sure if it's, I mean, we just hit the target. So that's usually when I like to take profits. But the other thing I'm looking at is we have something like this where we had, let's go to the four hour time frame. So you can see that there was resistance right here and resistance right here. So let's do a trend line from there to there. So you just change the time frame. You could see it a little bit better. And then boom, there you go. So now we have this kind of upward channel going something like this. And like the total market cap that I've been talking about, if we could break that trend line, then we could target from the top to the bottom of a wet, I mean of a channel. So let's do that. Let's just do it for fun. So we're targeting from the top to the bottom of that. If we could break out like right now, let's say we break, broke out right now. It looks like there's still steam going and it looks like there's green candles coming in too. We just broke the top that we just had before. That's the other thing that I'm kind of, that actually is pretty crazy and very bullish. So we just broke that previous top right there. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going and break this trend line right there. I think if we do, then we can target, be targeting around um, 3.15. So I'm not saying that we are going to get there. We still have to break this trend line right there. That trend line that I've just moved this one. So yeah, I'll, that's just what I'm going to be watching, but it looks very bullish. There's also this resistance sign right here. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to get a bounce up and down, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we broke through that trend line and we started looking at 3.15 or whatever it is 3.15 if it breaks through this one it's going to be pretty i think it's going to be a pretty like crazy move so let's see what happens um but that's what i'll be watching i'll be watching that trend line if we go to the crypt total crypto market cap real quick uh let's go to the like the four hour time frame or the hourly time frame um what i'm watching right now is in my last video i think it was the engine video that i talked about um this total crypto market cap we had this uptrend right here on the four hour time frame and you know we've been watching that big upward channel but we had this uptrend going something like this we broke that trend line going to not to the downside but just basically going sideways we basically are i think cooling off maybe and it looks like we had some like resistance like a resistance level right there and a support level right there i was saying i wonder if this is weakness or if this is just consolidation and we're ready to, and this is just going to be like a flag pattern or something like that and maybe we could target from the top to the bottom of right there or maybe even right here drag that to the breakout and we're looking at possibly breaking through that top trend line if we go back to the daily if you haven't seen my videos um we have this we have this uh channel going like this and we're watching this channel for a breakout to the downside or to the upside preferably the upside but um yeah it looks like we're we're pretty bullish and the pattern is pretty bullish in general i mean i guess until it breaks that trend line then. but and then, like i said until we break this bottom trend line i'm not really worrying about too much maybe you could trade in, in in the meantime but i don't even i've been getting kind of uh squeezed out like cardano actually squeezed me out i don't think i've even put bought back all that i had invested into cardano which is kind of a shame because i could have made more money but it's all good um I'm just kind of playing these little targets now that I'm seeing. I'm being more careful about it in general. Um, I probably should have just kept, and I, I didn't sell all of it or anything. I still have my ledger. And which brings me to another point I was going to say is um, I do like, uh, I have some in ledger, some crypto in ledger, and then I have some in my trading accounts. So I don't ever touch my uh, ledger account and my, I guess yeah my long term pretty much and um i think that's a good way to like stop yourself from like getting faked out and selling when you sh sh really don't need to but and then the trading is cool because you could play these little patterns and um depending on how big they are you can get 
you can um, take profits and then put them back into either Bitcoin or one of the coins that you prefer over some of the other ones. But um, in general, I'm, I'm just trying to stack up uh, some in all these different coins that I'm talking about. Pretty much just like 10. And I'm going to do another top 10 video. But yeah, so yeah, let's see if we could get to what are we looking at? Uh, something like 2.96. Was that what we we're looking at? 297 somewhere around there um yeah so that's what i'll be kind of looking at uh let me know what you guys think in the comments all right if you guys like that video hit that thumbs up leave your requests down in the comments if i see a bunch of the same ones i might do the i might do it if you really want your request done hit on my patreon